I think that if you're in the military and you actually become a professional military, uh, military, <laughs> uh, <laughs> professional uh, soldier, you know, yeah, not just some weekend warrior and shit like that, then I'm pretty sure that you are pretty tough and that you, um, as a soldier stuff, I can handle yourself in any situation. But yeah, oh yeah. When it comes to surviving in a scenario, because most soldiers are trained to fight in the countries where they uh, where they come from, you know, especially in Europe. European yeah. soldiers are trained to fight in the European battleground, not trained to fight in the African. What, what the hell are you shooting at? Zombie. Find another zombie. All right, so the, the European soldiers are trained to fight on the European battleground. And they don't necessarily know how to fight, because they don't have to, um, how to fight in the uh, in, in any other, well, mostly African, for instance, battlegrounds, or um, how you say it, uh, uh, South American jungles, for instance. You, you, yeah. don't, you, don't, you wouldn't associate... A European soldier with a battleground in, say, South America. That's just not, you don't see that kind of stuff. No, also That's, because it doesn't really make a lot of sense, right? No, it doesn't make any sense. You don't, you don't send somebody over there that is trained, that is supposed to be training, because European countries and stuff right, are, well, they, they train their soldiers, they have soldiers and stuff, right? And they train them on the on the on the continent to fight the Russians, you know. Yeah. And uh, they don't train them <laughs> to fight the Africans. <laughs> no, <laughs> and then that's why they have like uh, the different like special classes in the military, right? Like they they train like the I don't know the navy, the special forces are supposed to train like rebels behind enemy lines and shit. So those guys should be able to know know how to at least. <clears throat> have some kind of intelligence because if you, someone's going to drop you by enemy lines, you have to talk to rebels and find your way into the jungle, like in Congo, and find, <laughs> you know, survive yeah. that that fucking environment. For those people, you need to be a tough. You need to be a tough son of a bitch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man. <clears throat> and you know, you're not going to train like your entire military military like in a desert. That's some. That's bullshit. That's a waste of time. You just want to you just have your special operators teach those guys. And the rest, just make sure that you harden them enough that they will survive if you have to send them there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just make sure they have enough uh, desert camo. Yeah. Yeah. That's not what they always do with, like, with the military, the army guys. They, the grunts, they send them in. Those guys oh. are tough as fucking boots. You send yeah. them to the North Pole, they'll survive. You send them to the fucking desert of Sahara, they'll just be there. Shooting people. <laughs> yeah, that's what you would assume. Yes, there'll be there'll be small groups of very specialized commando units, for instance, or um, ranger units, or fast response units that are trained to fight on every continent. You know, because that yeah. that's what a fast response team is supposed to do. It's supposed to be able to combat any kind of threat that comes its way. Yeah. And as quickly as possible without having to first needing special training and stuff like that or re i don't know revitalizing <laughs> something like that <laughs> uh reconditioning yeah they need to be able to fight in instantly right so they they get trained to fight like for instance in the arctic and um in scandinavia and shit like that yeah. and in some cases in morocco in the desert uh all those kind of things but but when it comes down to it, if this is World War Three, come. Where are you running off to? A uh, bunker. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm coming to you. <laughs> I didn't see the bunker. <laughs> so if there was a World War Three, right? Huh? Oh, hello. Did you hear something? That was me, I guess. I, I, it, it sounded like it was behind me. Something blew oh. up. Something blew up. Yeah. Oh, I was oh, probably shit. uh Henry again. <clears throat> Henry, stuck in the trees. Asshole. Yeah, fucking Henry, man. Keeps doing that kind of shit. Found <laughs> well, some bullets for you. Maybe they fit into, into your rifle. Okay, let me see. 
M1 flash hider. We don't need that. M1 what? An M1 flash hider. Flash hider. What the hell is that? You can uh, hide your flash. Zero three zero six. I wish this thing would actually tell me what I needed. Oh yeah, it is a zero three. Yep, I got the, those are good bullets for me. Yui. Great. Ah, another cartridge. That's good. That's where? I found it. I put it in my pocket. If we get the pistols. I got shit. Third. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was looking at it. It was definitely shit. I thought those were bullets for us, but those are human bullets. Yeah. What is this? M1 flash hider. Hmm. Yeah, that's the one. What the hell does this do? <coughs> it hides the flash, sir. <laughs> All right. All right, that's it, right? Nothing else here? It is on the roof. There's nothing on the roof here. All right. That was some bullshit. Right. It was a bunker. I mean, how long ago did this bunker be used? Yeah. Well, bunkers should have bullets, and we found bullets. Yeah. So if there was a World War Three, right? Say, for instance, okay? And you had to go and, you know, we, well, we most likely won't have to fight because we're too old. <laughs> right? <laughs> but say, for instance, somebody else would have to go and fight. So there's a big chance that we would have, that the, the Europeans would have to fight in, say, for instance, an African country. Because I'm pretty sure that some of these African countries are aligned with Russia, right? Yeah. So allies, of course, have to be fought. Uh, otherwise, they do all sorts of shit and cause all sorts of problems, blah, 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 blah. I mean, they wouldn't last very long. <coughs> yeah. Because, uh, well, yeah, well, the allied... Um, the Western uh, world has got way more allies than Russia has, right? It's got like 20 times more. Yeah, that's, for, right. that's true. So there's there's no way that they would survive. Well, the Russians would be able to take on NATO on their own. That's what they were, That's what the Russian army is built for. It's, it's built to withstand NATO. That's it. Okay. I don't think they can take NATO, honestly. <clears throat> no, they probably couldn't. I, I think NATO would destroy Russia. Oh and yeah, for maybe sure. NATO week. would definitely, uh, definitely, oh, definitely max. destroy Russia. Uh, Russia. It would definitely destroy Russia. They, they don't. Russia doesn't stand a fucking chance against them. Look at how they're doing in Ukraine, man. And this is like supposed to be like the second best military in the world. The Russians. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here, man! <laughs> Seriously. But Ukraine. That guy Zelensky is fighting them by himself, man. True, he's fighting it by with himself. Rebels, that's, that's, with rebels, with guerrilla sure. tactics. With guerrilla tactics, yeah, exactly. And they're just bombing the, the, the thing, these, these Russians into the Stone Age and holding them line with uh, yeah. World War One tactics, right? They don't have, um, you know, the shock and awe of the Americans with thousands of tanks and hundreds of aircraft just bombing the crap out of you. you yeah. Know? And then flying away. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Man, that but, no fly zone that America had can 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 impose is is fucking dangerous, man. The course. Russians they know that the, the only thing that they have from being destroyed is nuclear weapons. That's it. They yeah. don't have a fucking military. They they can't. They have nothing. They can't. They can't. They have no resistance against the Western powers, man. Seriously. No, true. I don't think I don't think anybody has. I don't think China has it either. China has a lot of propaganda, a lot of lies, a lot of bullshit. Yeah, but the thing is that um, the the Western militaries and stuff like that, we have a lot of personnel, really, really good equipment and stuff like that. Except for the Germans. The Germans don't have any of that. Okay, <laughs> leave the Germans out of this. They're trying to go. They're trying. They're, they're building the army up again. That's bullshit. They don't have any way to do that. <laughs> well, it's, it's true the, the only thing they can they can possibly do with a hundred billion huh yeah is buy bullets that's it yeah because their bureaucracy <clears throat> is so incredibly slow huh that by the time that they actually decide to actually buy anything right mm -hmm. the money's already gone yeah a hundred billion would just be poof gone
because these the, the the German military is not efficient. It's not it's not capable of of buying stuff fast. You know what it it it, it was supposed to buy helmets for its military, yeah? <laughs> A couple years ago, right? Mm -hmm. And they're still testing them now. The they're, helmet. They're, Helmet, yeah, these are American helmets. Helmets that are being used have been used in uh, Desert Storm and stuff like that. Huh? The okay. Germans want these helmets, right? Yeah, they wanted them like five, ten years ago, something like that. They still haven't haven't gotten them. They haven't haven't bought them because the 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 military, the German military, is is still trying to figure out exactly how many they need, <laughs> if it meets their specifications, you know, and yeah, if it's a sure. uh, yeah, that's that's how the German military works, and they they can't keep the personnel. They could have developed their own helmet, man, and with a hundred million. Hundred billion, yeah, for sure. But that's not how they work. The German military uh, is is basically left over from the Cold War. So after the after the Second World War and stuff, they had so much material, so much surplus stuff, right? Yeah. Because when the Cold War started, the Americans and the Europeans and stuff like said that the Germans, the German army, huh, the Wehrmacht, was going to be the one that's going to face it off against the German, uh, the Russians, and then hold the Russians um, uh, if they ever attack. Right? That was the job of the German military. Huh. So they got they got tanks from the Americans, they got weapons from the French, they got all this equipment and stuff from everybody huh yeah and they never ever um because of that they got so much stuff for free uh, they never developed a system to buy new equipment yeah they never had to they don't know how <laughs> right <laughs> so because they 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 could always get their stuff so fast uh, whatever they demanded during the Cold War, when the, with the Russians in in, in Eastern uh, Germany and stuff like that, huh? whatever yeah. they, they demanded, they got it in, almost instantly from the from whatever arms developer or whatever country was uh, was uh, afraid of the Russians. Right? They would say, "Okay, Germans are afraid. They need more weapons and stuff out like here. Give them, give them, give them, give them, real fast." Right? Yeah. So they had a procurement time period timetable of one year. Right. <clears throat> so. You have to spend all that money, the hundred billion, in one year, on on equipment, right? <laughs> but do you know how long it takes to build a tank? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Or or fight it yet? <clears throat> yep. Or just 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 a bunch of them, for instance, right? It takes a long time. So if you have a company. That knows that the Germans need to spend all that money in one year, right? But it's impossible for them to actually um, to actually build all that stuff in one year. They're gonna say no. We're not gonna sell this stuff to you because I'm gonna build all these fighter jets, all these tanks, whatever, right? I'm gonna build like three. You're gonna pay me twenty million, and then you're gonna go away because the government decides that the hundred billion you can't spend it. They're gonna take it away from you, and therefore <laughs> it's gonna be left with <laughs> you're gonna be left with no money. How are you gonna pay for those tanks? Uh, yeah. You might have money today, but in one year's time later, uh, you might not have a dime. That's how the yeah. German military works, right? And it doesn't work that way, and the same goes for its people. So they can't. They, they don't have enough rifles to actually give all their soldiers uh, a gun, right? Jeez. And they promised Ukraine a whole bunch of anti-aircraft um, guns, right? Yeah. But they don't have the ammunition for them. <laughs> uh, that sucks, man. I think, but I think Europe is trying, starting to realize now that they need they need their own army back. Um. Well, yeah, they they need an army. They need an army. Everybody says that the, the Europeans need an army. The trouble is, um, who is going to lead that army? The French, the Germans, who? Yeah. You know? They'll do it like like NATO, like the biggest or the highest bidder, or the 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 person who pays the most money into that thing is the leader, like America, right? The United Nations. Yeah, but 
in NATO, for instance, <coughs> right, that position um, is just symbolic, right? Because the generals are in charge, all right? As soon as there's a war, that politician who gets put in, the ch in charge, for instance, he gets pushed aside and gets told to you know, sit on his ass somewhere else in a bunker, and then the generals take charge, and then they go fight. Yeah, go well, fight. You, that's, those are the guys you, 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 you uh, don't bet against the generals, man. No, you want those people to do that kind of stuff for you. Because yeah. you don't want a politician to fight a war for you, because he can't do that. <laughs> he can maybe maybe he can fight because he's a he's a civilian okay yeah he's a civilian well, it's uh, like the americans right they're, they're the leader of the united nations because they're the biggest army they're not going to listen to anybody else they're not going to say ah france says you have to go attack ukraine and america says no this is my army we protect we protect europe with this army you listen to us well, that's not entirely how the UN works. The UN doesn't work at all. But <laughs> NATO works. Out. Isn't that why Donald Trump said? Uh, there's a NATO. zombie right in front of us here. Why is he half naked? That is so weird. That was that was a weird looking zombie. Yeah, this guy looks rotten from a distance already. Like an Ethiopian. Oh, it's a woman. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's an Ethiopian zombie. Uh, Head to the garage. Nothing. There's never anything in the gar in these little sheds. Nothing anymore, huh? No. Ah, but we've been to the town before. Yeah, but things will respawn, right? They'll put Event? stuff back in again. Yeah, yeah, they do. They do. All right, we are past A2. I think we can go into A3 and then... There's a garage over here. The last time I came here, there was a shotgun in this church. It's nice looking boots. Hmm. Nothing. No shotgun in the sun? Not bad. Just boots. Just uh same kind of boots as uh what would you call them? As us. Yeah. I found a saw. Saws are very handy. I heard a zombie. I heard a zombie, but I can't see it. Oh. water pump go check if it's if it's got some water in it give you a quick check zero percent full damn it nothing on a bra <laughs> <laughs> Found a metal saw and a bra here. Hmm. Oh, we're already been here, I think. I, I, <laughs> he just came out of this place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's leave this town, man. This town is bullshit. Yeah, it's a waste of time. Nothing here, man. That one looks a lot better. That town, that's bigger. Last time we were there, we almost died. <laughs> yep. But that also, that town has, at the end, those robots, those big mechs by those uh, those big cranes. Oh, yeah. Huge mechs in there. I think we could find some cool stuff. There, like batteries and shit. Oh, most likely. Maybe even a car. It's a pretty big town. Yep. 
Probably. So where where exactly did we find the tractor again last time? It, uh, I think one of these little shitty ass villages. No, that was like a farm, a farm, uh, farmer's house. Oh yeah, it was a farmer's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of wondering what. Uh, see if we can find anything in this town. Maybe a nice little car would be nice. Yeah. They don't have a battery though. See a zombie in the road here, shaking. Fucking crack addict. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Let me just take her out. What the? Oh, I missed. Don't shoot me, man. I'm trying to. <laughs> I was trying to not to shoot you. That's why I was constantly trying to avoid firing at all. I, I don't have any more arrows. Bloody hell. I need more arrows. Where's all the arrows? Let's see. Oh, they must be like far away. All right, let's cut some down some arrows, yeah? Yeah, man. Cut it down, cut it down. All right. Hopefully this town is up more than the other towns. <laughs> <Appreciate me. laughs> 